What's up everyone? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about a new upgrade that I purchased for my 3D printing setup. Specifically, the Sunlu 3D Printing Mate Filla Dryer S2 is what it's called. I guess on Amazon it's just called the Filla Dryer S2, but yeah, I quickly realized how bad that I needed a filament dryer whenever I started getting very inconsistent prints. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So this has been happening on a lot of different prints of mine, but specifically one that really stood out was when I was doing this test benchy here. What you'll see is this is a matte PLA, um, but more particularly, I don't even know if I can get it close in frame here, but you, you may be able to see, but there is some pitting here and it's just like inconsistent layering. Um, I don't really know how to explain it other than it doesn't it doesn't have like a smooth surface like the rest of my prints have had um, and I have messed around with the calibration settings and just couldn't figure out what was causing it until I did some research online and it looks like this is a usually caused by filament being wet. So where my 3D printer is and my soon to be next 3D printer, more to come on that, it is in the basement of my home where humidity is definitely a problem. I have a dehumidifier going 24 seven, uh, but it still stays pretty high and I know that the filament has been taking in water. One way I know this for sure is while it's printing, you can actually hear popping noises coming from the printer itself. And if you look that up online, like the popping noise you hear when filaments extruding is the like water evaporating and causing bubbles and inconsistencies in the print process. So I thought the best thing to do would be order uh, a filament dryer. So I ordered this Sunlu S2. And so that's where this guy came into play. Um, and so far the prints are looking 10 times better, but I've already got it set up. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like and we'll go from there. So I'm in the middle of printing another Benchy right now looking really good. And this is the filament dryer. It actually dries the filament while it's printing. And you can set this up for like, I believe 24 hours. So to kind of give you an explanation of what you're seeing here on the screen, the PV means that is the present value. So 50 degrees Celsius, the selected value, which would be 50 degrees Celsius. So it's maintaining that temperature throughout the entire print. Up in the top right hand corner, that 28 RH is relative humidity and the time is how long that it's going to be uh, warming. I've got the material set on PLA, and then you can of course change these LEDs to where it's like, gives you a light show, turn them off, or I just got it on right now. Uh, what you'll notice though, something that I'm doing a little differently here, is I have this little uh, 3D print stuck in the middle here. So the number one complaint online about this thing here, let me turn on the light so you can see this better. So one of the number one complaints about this is that it doesn't have any way for the other, uh, for the, the humidity to leave the uh, case because there's no fan, there's no exhaust, there's nothing. So what a lot of people were saying is they leave this cracked. So what I did was I took a 3D print that I had that was about two millimeters thick and I just had it stuck up in there and that seems to get the humidity so there's airflow and it continues to lower. So this seems to be working for me and I'll probably just keep this up. So the other model that we're gonna be checking out, the Ebos uh, filament dryer apparently solves this, but it also has some pitfalls to it. But we're gonna do a comparison video in between those two. So we'll learn about those then. That being said, the prints seem to be going so much better. I'm excited to get out here and print more consistently. Uh, so we'll be using the Sunlu S2 on a day-to-day -day basis as a filament dryer, as well as the Ebos when it comes in. And I'll give some thoughts once I, you know, have a better idea of how both of them work. So guys, thanks for checking out the 3D printing journey. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, so you can follow along learning this process together and we'll have some fun. See you next time on Shareway Tech.